Welcome Cancer. This is going to be your singles love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to jump right in and see what is coming in for you guys for your September singles reading. We have the Four of Wands energy. So this is really nice to see. Um, basically what this is saying is that this is all about your home, family, and finances. The stability within your home. Um, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, something here. It's hard to go in a new direction. With the Queen of Cups. A lot of emotions here. Dawn of Rings. Stable offer. An offer, a message coming in here. Let's get more into this. Let's see what is coming through. Because the Four of Wands is fulfillment, uh, reliable foundation, harmony, gatherings even possibly be marriage we do have three of wands page of wands the magician oof the seven of swords okay i'll fix it's a little cricket i'll fix it right now let's see oh my goodness we have the ten of swords wow you guys are overcoming a lot here Okay, it does show a very big betrayal. Sorry guys, give me one second. A very big betrayal um, with an energy. Past is showing deception, lies, deceit. Ten of Swords is very painful time. Separation, sadness, grief. Something that could have been shocking or you know, stressing out here about something that's requiring a lot of strength from you, which I love that you have the strength card here with the five of pentacles because you are recovering from the situation and it's showing that you have the courage to overcome uh, anything here, okay? This is uh, also dealing with a situation with confidence and trusting your ability to handle whatever comes your way. So this is rising above. The Three of Wands is coming in as um, looking out more out in the future. Okay, allowing new possibilities to come in, meeting milestones, heading in the right direction. There is a message here, though, in this person's energy. They're very curious to come towards you, but the challenge is this person's a trickster. They have deceitful strategies. Okay, the Ace of Swords is in their mind, they're wanting to conversate. They're wanting some clarity. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, though, here with the Hangman and the Temperance, we're going to clarify and get more into it. Um, I feel like this person looks at you as very nurturing and loving, more of self made energy. But yeah, it looks like there was a clash, argument, disagreement here with this. Uh, six of wands in their energy and now they're wanting to come in and the reason why there was a clash was because there's trickery someone not being honest with everything not saying everything uh so you could be dealing with a, ver a person who does not take accountability who tries to manipulate the situation possible victim mentality I feel like the secret's already being revealed to you or you're feeling something you have this inner knowing you're connecting with spirit um here with the high priestess energy yeah with the moon this is you listening fully to your intuition okay you're already kind of seeing what's hidden behind the scenes um there is a bit of lack of clarity about this situation but i feel like you're finding a better understanding finding clarity and seeking the truth which will push you more into um, going in a new direction here because it does look like you are wanting to because somebody here is very deceitful this person's very much out of balance here too they make everything a bit rocky page of pentacles lack it's like whatever they say they lack a lot they could be broken in promises not keeping their word uh, not following through on what they're going to do it's like they say things that sound good, but it they end up lacking in the end. 
We have Eight of Wands, so they're thinking about messaging you, okay? The Eight of Wands is coming in here. They want to talk to you. This could be text messages, DMs, conversation. It's coming in fast. They have things to say. We do have the Six of Pentacles. They are feeling like things are out of balance with you too. You may have pulled away your energy. They're feeling very unsatisfied, very unhappy here. They're missing that nurturing, um, that nurturing energy from you. They're not happy on what is going on. And I feel they want to come towards you. In the near future, though, we have the hangman. Ooh, king of swords. Three of cups. The king of cups. Okay. The fool, the will of fortune. So when we have the fool and the will of fortune and the hangman with that king of swords, it's basically saying that somebody's very deceitful with their energy. They are not a very genuine person. This is a very calculated person. The hangman is feels like you're letting go and surrendering somebody here. Um in the present moment, I feel like you are understanding what you want and don't want and where to go next. I do feel like you're letting go of a situation because you have a newfound wisdom about this situation uh, and you're probably growing out of this person, possibly due to that Ten of Swords too and just over this deceit. I feel in the what where this is leading to is this Three of Cups energy, which is celebration, friendship, community, surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Um, this is a lot of joy too, okay, and closeness. Temperance is whatever brings you peace, that's what you're going towards. Um, when we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse here with the Fool, this is you gaining the confidence to come out of a cycle and to be open and, and to these new possibilities and these new beginnings. So there's a sense of freedom and believing yourself um, as you are breaking away from a cycle here that felt like it was going in circles, okay? Um, but as for this King of Swords, I do feel like you are surrendering this energy and it's taking a lot of strength within you to do that. But I love this because even though things may be feeling overwhelming or there's a little bit of self-doubt and lack of confidence, I feel like you're finding that strength within you and believing yourself again and getting back up because there's a sense of you pushing through this, okay? Believing yourself and you wanting that peace, that temperance. Now, when we have, again, when we have the, the temperance here as the outcome, you're going towards balance. You're, do, you're being patient. You're finding a middle ground. You're, you're, you're aligning your mind, body, and soul here, okay? And a lot of rewards comes with this patience and comes with this balance and peace. And I feel like Zach, that's where you're going, okay? Because the challenge is this person does not want to take responsibility. They're not operating from a very genuine place. Okay, Cancer, wow. This person is indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. We have all these cards. Let's just grab them. Neglected, I failed to give you what you needed. Absence, I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Overwhelmed, the stress from this is draining me. And unappreciated, I felt like you didn't care. Towards unexpected outcome, things didn't go the way I planned. Yes, that's why I feel like they're very upset and now feeling like they need to come up with a new plan. Very interesting person here. Um, let's get the confessions of love. Let's see what they have to confess to you here, Cancer. I am sorry I treated you badly. The timing wasn't right. I can't tell how you feel. I'm broken. I need you. We have toxic relationship, you guys. Between the lines, hidden meaning, vague, speculate. We also have fear, afraid, uneasy, suspicious, and scared. It feels like this person does not bring peace. It brings a headache. So <laughs> let's go ahead and grab the um, messages 
for you guys. Let's grab two. All right. We have raise your words, not your voice. The rain grows flowers, not thunder. Make peace, have empathy, show kindness. Then we have anything you lose comes around in another form. Opportunity, choices, and transformation. Absolutely beautiful here. I love this for you guys. Yeah, you're dealing with a very hurtful person. As we have the dove, doves could represent something for you here. Okay, we have new beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it. And live your dreams passionately. That's that full energy. You have new beginnings coming in as you're breaking away from something here, you guys. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you, Cancer. I hope this message helped. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys for your bonus and general readings for September. God bless.